Integers and the order of operations. Let's review our order of operations. First we start with parentheses, then exponents, then multiply and divide left to right, then add and subtract left to right. So let's look at this problem. Negative 100 plus 10 times 5 plus 2. We don't have any parentheses, we don't have any exponents, but we do have multiplication, and here it is, right here in the middle. So we want to work that first, and we get 50. Now bring down everything you haven't used, negative 100, bring down your plus sign, and your plus 2. Now we have two additions left, and let's do those from the left to the right, so negative 100 plus a positive 50 gives us a negative 50 plus 2. Now we work negative 50 plus 2. We have 50 negatives, 2 positives, and we have negative 48. All right, with 3 plus negative 3 plus 3 times negative 1, we need to again start with the multiplication. Let me back up and show you that we don't have any parentheses. This is confusing to some students. They, they would see this negative 3 right here and this negative 1. And what they think is there's something to be done. But those are down to one number, so you don't do anything with those. So no parentheses, no exponents, so we do have multiplication. And here it is, 3 times negative 1 gives us a negative 3. Bring down everything you haven't used. Now let's work them from left to right. 3 plus a negative 3 gives us 0, plus a negative 3 and there is your answer. 0 plus negative 3 is just negative 3. Alright, the next one. 10 minus negative 14 times 7 plus 3. So there's a couple of ways to work this. I'm going to work it two different ways for you. You can do negative 14 times 7, which gives us a negative 84. Bring down everything you haven't used. The 10, now here's the trick. You haven't used this minus sign yet, so let's put this whole thing in parentheses plus 3. Now you want to add the opposite and we'll have 10 plus 84 plus 3. So it gives you 94 plus 3 gives you 97. Now let's look at the, another way to do it. What if you had wanted to add the opposite first and you decided you would do 10 plus 14 times 7 plus 3? Would you have gotten the same answer? Yes, you would have. Let's do our multiplication, and we get 84 again. 10 plus 84 plus 3 gives us our same 94 plus 3 gives us our 97. So you'll be okay as long as you keep up with whether or not you have used this negative sign. And that's the trick to doing these. Okay, when you have something that has a fraction bar or a division bar right here, you want to work the entire numerator and the entire denominator and then divide. So we're going to do our multiplication first and we get a negative 12 here. So we have negative 6 plus a negative 12 as your numerator all over negative 4 plus 2 as your denominator. Let's work each one. Negative 6 plus a negative 12 gives you negative 18 over a negative 2. Now you're ready to divide because you're down to one number equals a positive 9. Alright, why don't you put it on hold, work the next problem, and then we'll work it together. Okay, if you're ready, let's go ahead and do our add the opposite. And then can you see you have right here your multiplication. That's going to have to be done first. Gives you a negative 3 Let's bring down everything we haven't used, a negative 7 plus 6, and we haven't used this negative sign, so we're going to have to bring it down. Now can you see again we have an add the opposite situation, so now let's work this problem, negative 7 plus 6 plus 3. You can combine your positives or you can work it left to right now that you're down to all addition. So let's work this, 9, so negative 7 plus 9 gives you a positive 2.